Jessica Williamson and you're watching Zap Root. In the Barbie world, greenwashing is now vogue too. After recalling millions of lead poison Barbie accessories, you think Mattel would be going green. Not so much. Instead, they decide to clean up the scraps off the Barbie factory floor and make a little profit with it too. They will be releasing handbags and other accessories stitched together from the scraps of Barbie outfits. All based around the idea that plastic, dressed in plastic, boxed in plastic, is green too. Check out Lifesaver. It's a super effective bottle filter that can remove contaminants all the way down to the size of a virus. How big is the smallest virus, you ask? That would be 25 nanometers and lifesavers filters down to 15 nanometers its operation is so simple it can be used by a child and it doesn't require iodine or other chemicals lifesavers are a little pricey at 460 bucks a pop but we suppose it's a little cheaper than yellow fever want some free stuff well buygreen.com is looking to give it to you sign up on our community site add a blog entry you can use pics and videos and the best blog entry this week will receive this sponsored by buygreen.com and don't forget there's a link in our show notes Check out this video by our friends at Yurt. We're here in Washington, D.C. today talking to people about the Bush administration's new plan to turn fat into fuel, America's Fat to Fuel program. Are you familiar with the obesity epidemic kind of plaguing America? We're the fattest country in the world, but they're turning this problem into a solution for in energy independence. The Bush administration is actually thinking about using human cellulite as an alternative fuel for cars. No chance. <laughs> yeah, we actually spoke to um, a senior policy advisor in the Department of Energy today about a new plan that the Bush administration has come up with to uh, convert fat into fuel for cars. Have you heard about this? Yeah. No, I haven't. It's the Fat to Fuel program. Hmm. The Fat to Fuel program? You no, I have not heard of that one. At first, people were a little bit uneasy about it, but once we started really teaming up with plastic surgeons in LA, um, a lot of celebrities have been very supportive of this cause. They're working with plastic surgeons in LA and Miami to actually use the fat that's being pulled out of people as mm -hmm. a fuel source, a cellulite that comes out of you know liposuction and things like that, and yeah. actually turn it into fuel to fuel wow. cars. I have to use my own fat? You don't have to use your own fat. You can actually just use it. It would, it would be pooled as a sort of national resource. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be turned into gasoline? Or are you saying it's a different type of engine? It's like it's a biofuel. Does that mean we're going to have to continue with our obesity program? That's the catch, is we're going to need to keep America fat in order to have a fuel source for our cars. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Burger King and McDonald's are true American heroes, and they've really been behind us on this, helping us out. They've been providing french fries to kids in schools for very reduced rates, chalking up the amount of fat in their cheeseburgers to help us really maintain this level of obesity that we need in order to um, have a continuing supply of cellulite. We eat more to get fatter so we can run our cars. That's the plan. Gotta be good. Luckily, there are enough obese people that they can sort of take care of the thin people, but really the, the thin people just really aren't doing their country any any favors, just not patriotic enough. We're really, really trying to fatten them up. They've done studies and they say that the buttocks fat is actually more energy um, dense, more energy efficient than the, than the underarm fat. Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, if you look around, butt fat's better than gut fat. Yeah. I could probably get 20 to 30 miles just on my left butt cheek alone. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at my gut here, any idea how, how many miles I could get on this? <laughs> I see you're good for a good 100 miles. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. You look like you're in good shape, so I don't know how far you would go on, on what you've got going on here. Yeah, not, not, not very far, luckily. This country's always been really good about coming together in times of need. We're really hoping that people will put their country first and get on board with us. Would you buy a fat-fueled car? Sure, why not? I mean, if it's cheaper. Would I drive a fat-powered car? Sure. Chevy's got a great model coming out called the Chevy Cellulite. There's also going to be a Lincoln Lipid SX. I'm already on the waiting list to get one of those completely cellulite based, so that's pretty exciting. You can find Yurt and other great green shows at viropop.com. Hey YouTube user, you should subscribe. The button is right over here. Seriously, this button's all over the place.